Fuck it is, man. Pill Bellamy and this bitch, you heard me. You mad enough. Real quick, bro. Real quick. So, ARP and Sue Surf had a little small heated exchange on Twitter again, right? Now, I want to give y'all my perspective. Feel me? Because this is going to be another installment of prime example. Because I'm going to keep it a being with you, bro. I feel like this is a prime example of when someone is low-key hating, bro. When someone is low-key salty. And I fuck with ARP, bro. You hear me? Like, real deal. I fuck with him. But I ain't going to lie, bro. I'm going to keep it a being. I kind of felt like you showed a chick in your armor, bro, with, you know, these responses to Sue Surf. But we're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. All right, so um, I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to quote or paraphrase what Sue Sir said, like the initial tweet that started this, you know, whole dialogue, because I don't got that one. But all right, so Sue Sir said, "I battle anybody." Said I battle anybody, but these leagues can't afford to pay me. Right now, before we get into uh, before we get into ARP response, let me say this. Like, you got to know when this nigga is trolling, bro. You feel me? Like, Sue Surf be trolling. He be purposely saying stuff to get a response from people in the battle rap community. And I'm going to keep it a being with you. I feel like, like ARP is a very intelligent man, bro. He's very smart. So a part of me feel like he already know this. That's why I was torn in between the two. I'm like, is he hating? Is he trolling surf? Like, is he playing along? Like, like what's going on? But then I will read more of his responses and it just, you know, it led me to believe that he was kind of low-key hating. You feel me? Like, because I feel like if it don't apply, let it fly. You hear me? If the shoe don't fit, don't wear it. If you know he's not referring to your league, if you know that doesn't apply to your league, why respond? Like, why? I don't think the nigga is that immature where he just want to have a petty argument with Sue Surf on Twitter. But anyways, so, uh, yeah, I don't think I got that tweet either, but I can tell you exactly what uh, ARP said. So, ARP responded, ARP responded and said, uh, something to this effect. He said, he said, uh, Sue Surf came back to battle rap. The only reason why Sue Surf came back to battle rap is because the only reason why Sue Surf came back to battle rap is because his music career was failing. Right? And I'm like, that was the tweet that did it for me. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm gonna keep it a beam with you. That was the tweet that did it for me. Like, huh? What? Come on, bro. What, his music career was failing? How? Like, you feel me? And, I, I'm, I, and I'm just looking from the outside in, bro. And, and like, I can honestly say I don't see a failing music. I don't see a failing music career attached to Sue Surf, bro. Like, whenever his mixtapes drop, people go nuts, bro. You feel me? Like, this shit is heavily talked about, bro vehemently people love sue surf bro and there's a lot of big names some of famous people in the music industry bro that respects sue surf he's well respected in the music industry bro by a lot of you know notable people if we like if i'm being honest if i'm keeping it a bean and every time his mixtape drop bro whenever this nigga mixtapes drop most of them chart i don't give a fuck if it's on spotify if it's on iTunes, um, 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 if it's on Billboard, like people stream his mixtapes, people buy his mixtapes, people download his mixtapes. You feel me? They review them, they rate them, they listen to them, they make impression videos. Like, bro, like his when the, whenever Sue Surf drop a mixtape is a big thing, bro. Like any, and, and I believe one time I seen a video of him on live talking about how much money he got in advance from a record label to drop a mixtape. He did a mixtape with Mozzie, a well-established artist. Like, I don't know where this whole failed music career came from. Like, I don't know where that notion came from. Like, I don't know, like, what gave him, you know what I mean, the idea that this man's music career is failing. 
But I mean, we gonna get his perspective though. We, cause I'm a, uh, I'm gonna read his tweets. But that right there was like, bro, it, 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 it's not true. So that's what you know warranted me to believe that he was hating. Cause you saying something that's not factual. Like it holds no weight. There's no validity to what you're saying. You feel me? So, all right. So, forgive me. I know I was ranting, but let's 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 keep going with these tweets. So somebody uh somebody responded to to uh ARP somebody by the name of Christian and he said his music is fire don't do that bro and ARP responded and said I didn't say it wasn't please read correctly sir now granted that's he didn't say his music was garbage he just said he has a failing music career you feel me but I guess y'all was insinuating like, bro, his music career can't be failing because his music is fire. But to, but I, to be fair, like, there's a lot of people with fire music, <laughs> with failing music career. So, like, if I'm being honest, like, okay. So, uh, somebody else, somebody else uh, responded and said, how is it failed, though? And that, that was my question. Like, like I said, that's what influenced me to think. He was low key hating because I don't see any sign of him having a failing music career. But let's continue. So ARP responded and said, because he tried to leave battle rap for it and realized the only and realized the only checks he could get to sustain his apartment come from good old battle rap. Now, there is a lot of battle rappers in the battle rap community who do fall under this category. You know what I mean? They try to leave battle rap to do music or do something else, but them checks don't be, you know, consistently coming in. They're not as big as battle rap. People ain't paying them as much money to perform. So they be like, oh, no, they, 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 they jump ship and come, you know, back to the Titanic. So I like, but I don't, I don't see the association with surf though. Like, I don't see like this association with surf though. You feel me? Let me read it again. He said, because he tried to leave battle rap for it and realized the only checks he could get to sustain his apartment come from good old battle rap. I I, I don't know if I can substantiate this, bro. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know if I can confirm this. Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, because I'm not, I'm not his lawyer. I'm not his business partner. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't cut his checks. I'm not a record executive. So I don't really know, like, and we don't like we don't know what what's in that man bank account. You feel me? We don't see his ass cap checks. We we like we don't know the numbers he doing like on uh on these uh, streaming platforms. We don't know how much money he's getting from music, bro. So like he unless he got some inside information, unless ARP knows something that uh, us fans don't know and the people in the public don't know, maybe he do. I I don't, I don't fucking know. I just know I can't I can't deny or confirm that because i don't know what his bank account looked like i'm i you know what i'm saying like i don't know bro uh. all right so he said he couldn't get his lease with any of those mixtapes with any of those mixtape reference how do we know that though like come on arp arp usually be saying some sensible shit bro i'm not gonna lie i agree with arp most of the time when he be flaming these niggas, ethering these niggas, I be agreeing with him because he be making sense. He be, he be, you know what I mean, making logical points. But this one, I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You on your own. Because I don't, I, how can, like, can you confirm this, bro? Like, is anything you're saying significant? Can you prove that it's a fact? Like, do you have any evidence, any evidence to support any of your claims? Like, like, it, I don't know, bro. That shit weird. So, uh, Sue Surf responds and said, Why would I leave battle rap? LOL. I commentate for URL when I'm not battling. When I leave, question mark, you sound hurt. I'm not going to lie. I agree with Surf. You you kind of, you know, do sound hurt. And he never, I, I don't think he technically left battle rap. I think he said he was retiring from battle rap. But he didn't say he was, like, totally just leaving the battle rap community. He was commentating. So he, he got a point. But to be fair, like we could say he left battle rap because he did retire. You feel me? Yes, media is a part of battle rap, but battle rap is the actual battle rap 
you feel me? Uh, yeah, battle rapping is actually battle rap if we being technical. So I don't know. All right, next tweet. So, uh, is that it? Okay, so yeah. So I think I'm missing a few tweets, but ARP said, no, Surf said, oh no, oh no, I have been in, no, it's a tweet before this, forgive me. Okay, yeah, it's a tweet where he showed him uh, his studio, I guess, Sue Surf is building a studio. So he said, and I'm just, and I'm just starting at the ceiling in the studio that I own, that's inside the lounge I own, working on these rounds. Your day going well? So I think I missed the tweet, and then AR, then he, then uh, Sue Surf says again, "Oh no, I've been in plenty houses." Was speaking on where you were currently. I guess he said something about uh, ARP home. Like I, I don't know. Then ARP said, "Uh oh, do I smell a cash bet?" What I really enjoyed though is you thinking seven bathrooms got to be in an office building levels. Then he say, see, sir, he's shaking my head. You speak on what you've been in. I speak on what I, uh, dot, dot, dot. You know what? Never mind. I thought you would understand seven bathroom talk, giving all them chains on your neck. Assets, young man. Assets. You getting better, though. So I guess the, the, the last part of the tweet, you know, he was speaking to, uh, you know, poor investments. You know what I mean? You putting all this, you spending all this money on jewelry, which, you know, a lot of that shit, lose value over time, you should be investing in, you know, something that's going to give you uh, 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 longevity in business, you know, real estate and shit like that. I'm, I'm not well versed in that, so I can't really speak to that, but I get what he's saying. I get the point he's trying to make, you feel me, uh, making better investments, spending your money more wisely. You get what I'm saying? So I, I, I get it. I get it. But in closing, I, I don't know, bro. Like, I'm usually on ARP side, but I, it's hard for me to take your side because I, I don't know your true motive. You feel me? Like, were you trolling? Were you serious? It sounds like you, you were serious, but ARP has had moments where he sounds serious, but he was trolling. Like, but to me, like, like my initial thought was like he was bothered. Like he was offended by the fact that you know, Sue Surfs, you know, said these leagues couldn't afford him. And maybe he felt like that applied to his league. Like, I don't, I don't know, bro. I, I don't, I don't know, man. But that's it, man. Hey, I'm just a spectator. You mad enough.